Hi everyone, it's Janice here. I have a um, tag to share with you today that I have made for, for someone. Um, I finally got to play with my doll stamps, or one of my doll stamps, and this is uh, doll number six. And I used the uh, tag pad to make my tag, you know, with. <clears throat> I love playing with the doll stamps. It reminds me of playing with paper dolls whenever I was a little girl. It's a lot of fun. Okay, the um, paper that I used to, to uh, stamp, you know, like her skin color, uh, her, you know, body from is um, the ledger pad. And it was this piece right here, you know, it has the writing on uh, a lot of it, but there is a spot right there that, that is clear, you know, from anything. And so I used it to stamp her on. And I paper pieced her uh, for uh, for her dress. The skirt part I used this one it, from the. It, this is from the uh, Prima Divine collection. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Used this for her skirt, and then for uh, the the little top that she has on. I'm sorry, I'm gonna pull this back over here right quick. You know, just this little piece right here, the little top. I cut, I just stamped it on this uh, green part of this mannequin here on that sheet of paper and cut it out to match the skirt. And then I did use uh, uh, another sheet of that same paper, you know, with the mannequin on it. Uh, on my tag part, to cover my tag, and I used... Uh, this piece on my tag. Okay, I used this stencil from Prima Sunrise Sunset. Sorry for the glare. This is the uh, little flower, or some people call it dots. <laughs> and I used uh, these real tiny uh, halfback pearls from the Paper Studio. These come from Hobby Lobby. I used uh, one of these Prima buttons from the Tea Time collection, and I used a uh, metal butterfly from Making Memories. Uh, they're you know like an embossed metal butterfly with little gems on them. I've had these for a long time in my stash. I used a Prima uh, light bulb, the little junkyard findings. These are the small ones, and I used the one that has the word two on it. And another thing that I used are some mini Scrabble tiles that I have in my stash. I just don't have any up here to show you. Okay, I also used a piece of this mesh uh, ribbon. Just a little piece of it. It's a white <coughs> uh, wire ribbon, you know, mesh. That has an iridescent um, strand in it. And then the flowers that I used. I used a few of these uh, basil bitty blossoms that I've had in my stash for a long, long time. Um, and for the centers of those, I did use some stamens. And I used some stamens in different areas also. These came from Hobby Lobby, you know, in the wedding section. They're $1.99. Most of the time you can get them for 50% off, you know, just a dollar. I used to um, some some of the Wild Orchid Crafts uh, flowers. These are the small, really small ones. I used some of the rosebuds, closed ones, and uh, some semi-open ones. I used these wild orchid cra oh, these, these little closed ones. I didn't show y'all those. Sorry. Um, I used these wild orchid crafts. Uh, peach colored ones. I'm loving the peach and the greens right now. Um, these actually, though, these came from uh, Jay Zeller's uh, shop, uh, Lavish Laces. I had saw on her uh, uh, site, her in her store, that she was uh, getting some more in. 
some more wild orchid crafts and I used some of the Prima Calypso tin flowers okay I guess that's everything that I used so um, there's my tag I think I'm going to pick it up to, to uh, show y'all what all I did to it. It's just standing there on that, you know, that altar fork that I had. Uh, that was the first project that I ever did for YouTube. Okay, I will start up here. Um... You know, the first thing I did was I laid down the, um, well, the first thing I did is I stamped my doll and started cutting her out. See where I used the halfback, the little teeny high fat pearls, I used them for a necklace. Oh, that's another thing that I got to, I used to, was a piece of bling from my stash for her hair. I had so much fun playing with her. And this piece of lace, also I didn't talk about this piece of lace. This is actually a vintage piece of lace. My mother used to make dolls. And um, when she died, I got her sewing stuff because I was the only girl, you know, that <clears throat> that was into sewing, that knew how to sew. So, you know, I got to have mom's... Uh, collection of sewing goods sewing machine and all so I cherish all that stuff anyway I have a lot of this little lace so I decided to use a piece of it today for this this is this is the uh, basil flowers I stacked them up I kind of like put one of them upside down and one of them right side up and then the other one upside down and you know kind of punched it to get it to stand up there um Here's where I used that uh, piece of mesh lace. And, you know, and I have like the papers torn uh, torn back and, and uh, you know, revealing a little bit underneath. I, I cut out the ruler page in that collection too. I cut the rulers out and put them down behind her. Uh, this is the... Um, Calypso tin. And I put some stamens here. These are the wild orchid crafts. Um, here are the uh, small mini scrabble tiles that I was telling you about. Um, I, there's the uh, light bulb that says two. Um, and this is the butterfly, and I just whitewashed it with some gesso and then kind of wiped it off, you know, with the baby wipe. And then I put a little, little bouquet again um, underneath the button. And that's some of that Tim Holtz seam binding that I just, you know, put through the the uh, uh, button. Button and, and uh, tied a bow. See that piece of paper with the, um, uh, the dress form under it? The word mannequins. I did lay down that. Uh, mesh and, and uh, right there I'm not, I don't do very good with these pointers through this phone because I have to look through my phone you know and it gives you a different aspect of what you're looking at and pointing at so it's kind of hard for me um, <clears throat> you know I put a piece, piece of that mesh down and stamped through it with some stamp with some ink and a tool and then here I just did another little, you know, uh, uh, basil flower. And um, with the stamens in it. There's where I put the honeycomb paper, you know, underneath. And then curled my other piece up. Um, I put a couple of pieces of lace, you know, hanging from the, the bottom of the tag. It's double layered there. See. I colored her shoes and her hair with some uh, oh, uh, 
uh, colored pencils uh, that I have. They're just like watercolor colored pencils, but I didn't use water with them. And so that's how I, you know, did her hair and her shoes. Okay, my time is up, y'all. Thanks for watching, and uh, this is going out to a friend here on YouTube. Her name is Wanda. I've been getting her rack together for a few days now, so I'm sending it out to you, Wanda. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye-bye.